we're starting here in Kenta Cube with the Cube map. So as an example, when we get a trouble ticket that a service is slow, we could correlate the performance metrics that we're ingesting with the pods that are having problems. So here in our map, we have a nice visualization of our environments in US East 2 and US West 2. And notice at the top of your screen that the system will actually give you an automated alert for problems that you should pay attention to. And in this case, when I click on it, you see that we have 10 pods experiencing high latency. And, uh, and keep in mind that that's gonna definitely impact service and specifically application performance down the road. So for this demo, our online shopping application isn't performing well, and the cluster supporting that is EKS Cluster 2. So I'll click on that namespace here on the right and drill down even further. And the specific service that we care about in this scenario is the payment service here noted in red, indicating that there's some sort of problem. Now, most of the items in this interface, this user interface are interactive, so I can click on it and go even deeper, which I'll do here and then select show details. And here on the right, we see the pod name, node name, some information about performance, but I'd like to see if there's anything else experiencing this latency problem. So what I'm gonna do is click the node right here to see all of the pods that are running on it. And here when I expand the pods list, you can see that they're all experiencing high latency. There's certainly something going on that's common to this entire node here in, in this case at least. So if it's an issue with the node itself, we also need to be able to look at node to node traffic which I can also do with Kenta Cube, but since every environment is a little different, it's important that we have the ability to create custom dashboards. So I've done that for our scenario, and you can see that here. And what you're looking at is a breakdown of node to node traffic, specifically in terms of latency, and then right here at the top in green is the node that we're investigating, which seems to have the highest latency in the entire infrastructure. And now that we've identified where this problem is actually happening, we could take action to fix this problem and to prevent it from happening again by possibly modifying node affinity and maybe rescheduling that service's pods altogether. Sign up for a free trial of Kentic Cube at kentic.com cube.